Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another special out and about video for you guys today. This one brings me back out to Hollywood, California for an annual event that's happening over here at Golden Apple Comics. John Carpenter, yes, the master of horror himself, is going to be here in person yet again uh, for his uh, book signing. And he's signing one extra item uh, for people. But I'm with uh, some special people right now. The OG Pizzle, that's his new name that I call him. And we are special, yes. Yeah. And, and uh, the homie Justin right here. What's up, yeah. Justin? I've never met him t before until today. So uh, we, we have a handful of things to get signed today. So uh, we'll show you guys what we get signed later on. But let's go get, let's go get our tickets to get in line. Well, we just made the line uh, to get into Golden Apple Comics. This is just to get our book to get into another line uh, to get the autographs and stuff. What's up, Derange Duncan? Hey, what's going on? cracking, man. And look at OGP, man. Rolling up here with a Rob Zombie t-shirt. What up, John Carpenter? What are you doing, dude? What up? We, hey, are you going to watch Halloween Ends or are you going to watch Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Which yeah. Movie, if you had to watch one of those two right now, oh, no, 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 come on, I'm mate. going Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 at this point. I'm not watching ends again. Ends can go in the trash can. Wait, wait, wait. So that, that, that's to be honest. That's so much. What, what, you, you, you fucked up. You know what? I'd say Halloween yeah, no, I, 2 I just, because at least yeah. that one made a little bit more like it made they sense. Felt more of a yeah. Halloween yeah. movie compared to yeah. Ends. No, the, the screaming was a little too much. Uh, yeah. But, uh, no, but like he's but, gonna, you can yeah, actually change. I'm gonna change. You're gonna change into this. Okay. Just made it into Golden Apple Comics just to pick up the comic just to get into another line uh, to wait for the man himself. They do have some really cool, like, slabbed comics at this shop if you guys are into collecting uh, comic books and, like, you know, uh, what's that, CGC uh, slabbed comics. They have a bunch of cool ones here. About to get uh, my comic and stuff. They have different ones you can buy that John Carpenter has made throughout the years. But uh, I believe we're here for Tales of Halloween Night. Uh, the new volume of that. They even have, of course, like different things you can buy to maybe get signed. Just got out of the Golden Apple Comics, got my volume 8 of uh, Tales from Halloween Night, which is available now. This is like a variant cover, but uh, there's a big old standby line for people that didn't get up on tickets over here. So hopefully, then maybe some of them can get in. Just made it behind Golden Apple Comics where everyone's standing ready to, to meet, uh, you know, getting ready to meet John Carpenter to get their autographs and stuff on the comics and things. A good amount of people so far. With one of my YouTube friends right here, Nocturno. Hey, dude, what are, you, what are you bringing to get signed today? Getting the thing. And you said you, you said you got this one from like the UK or something? Yeah. That is pretty cool. Yeah, you, have, you, have you been to a John Carpenter signing out yeah, here? Yeah, this is my second time coming here. Out back behind Golden Apple Comics, just like last year. They have like these little tents back here where John Carpenter's going to be along with some of the other creators of the comic book, be signing autographs and stuff. And uh, some of the autograph hounds are out over there trying to get the freebies, trying to get the freebies. When the stars come out, the autograph hounds come out. Not just the ones that, you know, pay like us and stuff but like the ones that chase people down the streets and things. And they're out in full effect right now, as you can see back there. In line still, showing off some of the cool people's like posters that they have already signed by like some other people like PJ Souls and Tom Lee Wallace The Shape. And now, I wish I had something like that. That is pretty, pretty rad. Yeah. Look at OGP showing off his, uh, oh! Look at OGP showing off his, uh, oh! Oh, oh, party foul, bro! Jamie Lee Curtis yeah, autograph yeah, on the floor? Yeah, so, yeah, Jamie Lee, oh. and then I got Nick last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. party <laughs> foul, dude. Whoa. How does he treat a Jamie Lee Curtis yeah, picture? Uh, oh, you dropped it. Man. Overrated, man. Oh. She's overrated. Uh, yeah. Dude, Savage Scott, bro. <laughs> what the hey, 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 after, after Halloween ends. Oh. oh. So, so how about that Smile movie? Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah. Smile was good. I still have to watch yeah. it. Pearl X, Barbarian. Yeah. Yeah. Great ones this summer, but... Um, I can't believe you just did that. They're starting to let people uh, in for the signing. As you can see, the line goes from this way and wraps around, the, wraps around the side over here. I think it was limited to 200 tickets. They may have sold more. Do you think this is more than 200 people? Sound off in the comments. All right, man. We're over here. You just met John Carpenter yet again for like the 100th time. That's right. You got, got, the got the new book. Sign book. Yeah. And I realized I didn't have Halloween Kill signed by him, so. Mm. Oh, he, right did the, he did the score, right? Or right. All of it or something? Yeah, he did for all three, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, I think that silver came out nice. Yeah. So, yeah, he was in a good mood. Watch out, we're going to run oh, over. That's cool. Yeah, he's wearing his Warriors hat, so, you know, he oh. loves basketball and video games. So, okay. you ever mentioned any of those two? 
you're good to go. So yeah, you guys, yeah. make sure you check out his, uh, my buddy's channel here, Fonzo13. Oh, Thank you. I'll have a link for it down below Absolutely. if you guys want to check him out. He's been in my live shows too throughout the years. That's right, man. It's always a good time with you, man. We're towards the end of the line. We're about to get our I'm stuff signed. There. We're getting there. I think, yeah, they're they're, they're being kind of strict. They're getting kind of strict, so I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna stick to my one item. One item. Yeah, we do, yeah. do that. Yeah, we're strict. I'm, 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 this guy apparently got four. Yeah, I, I don't want to get in uh -oh. trouble or nothing. Oh, give it away this But hey, the thing is, you're, you're getting two things signed because you got two, you bought two books and you have yep. your buddy with you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. a Justin gets a comic book. Yeah. And I get my funky Funko. About to see John Carpenter right over here signing my buddy Chris's uh, DVD cover, rocking on over there, Mr. Carpenter. Uh, Okay, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. There you go, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, John. Yeah. The prize is meeting you here, sir. Would you like it on this side or the other side? Uh, is there a way to get it on the front or the, the head of the mask? Wherever you want to. Is there okay if you put maybe, if you can, uh, Master of Horror and then your autograph if possible? Vampires. Uh, on the top, uh, right here on the forehead. Thank you, my man. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's so cool. You worked on it. I can't pass that up. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Great seeing you guys out here. It's fun to be here. Oh, yeah. So, are you going to walk through this? Thank you, John. May I ask what you thought about Halloween ends? No comment. Okay, never mind. Your score you is amazing, though. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, just met uh, John Carpenter yet again. A quick little interaction with him. And uh, I asked him a question on video saying, hey, so uh, what do you think of Halloween ends? Oh, and, did you ask him? Yeah, that? and he's just like, no comment. No. He looked at me like, no comment, yeah. For real, for real, for real? Yeah. All right, man. I'm here with my boy right here, Alfonso. That's just right. Just met John Carpenter for the first time. Hell yeah. He's back there signing autographs for his new comic. So what would you bring, man? So this is what I got, man. Let's check it out. You got John Carpenter on there. Uh, what, P PJ Souls, Nick Castle, and who's this? Uh, Mr. Uh, Jim Wimburn. Jim Wimburn, okay. That's right. And that then, is cool here. I'll hold that one. Yeah, thank you. And then this is the the, poster. the big daddy of them all. Oof. Right here. Oof. Look at that. Oh, you got him right there in the middle, too. Oh, yeah. That is super cool, man. Hell yeah. Man. I love that. Actually, that, that print is pretty cool, man. You, yeah, you, you did a good job on that. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And also, hey, I got to say one last thing, too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for hooking me up with that job, too. You got it, man. Anytime. I, I appreciate Just it. Make sure you're not uh, insubordinate, please. Insubordinate? Please, please. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys don't know, this is the boss. This is my boss at work right now. Well, and uh, we all got to hook up with John Carpenter over here, so. Well, movie sucks. I mean, n not? Well, maybe. I, I, may, I may suck at my job, but I don't suck anywhere else. Hey! It is now nightfall. We have left the John Carpenter event. Yeah. And, but we're still in Hollywood. We are. We went to go to Canter's, ate some food. We didn't really fucking yeah. film anything. Yeah. No, we had some grub. You know, it was good, but, yeah. you know, it was just like... Your buddy Justin, we took him home. Yeah, Justin got some food, took it home to his wife. Yeah. So now we're just doing our thing, flying, uh, not solo, but... Yeah. We're flying together, but we're going to a very special location, but don't worry. We will show you guys uh, what we got autographed. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. A little bit later on. But the place we're at, Amoeba Music. Let's head on in and get some hoarding done. We are over here looking at the new release rack uh, that they got going on. Speaking of Halloween, this is a set I kind of want, but it only has Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, and Resurrection. But it's $109. A super villain. Super villain Pete. Wow, wow. Hey. Flat out ask for it. Hey, hey. Flat out ask for it. Hey. <laughs> uh, he, OG, no shame. OGP wants one too. No shame. <laughs> we love you, super villain. Man. But dude, it's like John Carpenter, like John Carpenter related right here. Yeah. John Carpenter is the fog. Fog, that's good. You know, right so, there, you know, yeah. We're only doing this because it's John Carpenter Day uh, for this video right there. Yeah. The, uh, Kurt, have you, have yeah. you seen this show yet, Mayor of Kingstown? No, I have not. It's a great show, Jeremy Renner. Kind of like uh, this prison working guy that kind of keeps the whole town yeah. over, like from like killing each other and stuff. Great show. It's cool that they have the um, Army of Darkness Steelbook 4K and the standalone. And E.T. I think did that come on 4K by itself already or no? I don't, can't remember. Still wondering the halls uh, or aisles, as you would say, over here of Amoeba, seeing what kind of stuff they got. I always love the artwork of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from back in the day. OG Pizzle's looking at the. the 
What was it called? The Cold Section. Street Trash. I can't remember if I had this one or I had to look it yeah. up. Yeah. Street Trash is good. Movie. I love that movie. No, that's cool. Now we're back on the dirty streets of Hollywood right now. It is raining. Oh, the rock right there. Yeah, man. It's raining out right here. Yeah. And we're about to go see something special because uh, we saw a special somebody from the Halloween series today. Yep. And uh, recently, a person from this franchise, uh, Laurie Strode herself, yes. uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, put her hands in the cement of the Chinese yeah. theater. And her heels with the little tiny, like the high heels and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going on over here. You never know what you're going to see on the streets of Hollywood. Even uh, Pennywise himself out here uh, in the in the rain. In the rain. He's trying to get Georgie to go down in the, in the sewer with him oh, yeah. to hang out with Michael Myers. And <laughs> We finally made it to the Grammons Chinese Theater out here. And we got to see if we can find like Jamie Lee Curtis's hand handprints. Because there's all the different people that are out here and that have been out here for a while. Like yeah, Betty Davis is right here. Yeah. I think Jimmy Lee Curtis might be one of the fresh ones. Well, our trip may have been a bus coming over here. I just asked some of the employees at the Chinese theater that are in there. After someone lays their hands uh, in cement for the Chinese, you know, to, put, to be put out out here, it uh, doesn't get put out for eight months or longer. So we wow. wasted our time. I didn't know that. That's all right. But I've always loved Mel Brooks, man. I always wanted to meet him. Yep. Like, you know what I mean? He's always been like someone that always made me laugh. Ethan, Ethan Hawk? Billy Crystal. Yeah, Billy Crystal's feet and handprints. Michael Bailey. Well, look at this. What is, this? is that? That is weird. We also got Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right next to each other. See, I think that's rad, dude. Like, Kevin and Jason both get it. That's cool, yeah. You know, Kevin yeah. Smith and Jason Mewes have always been some of my some of my favorites right there. Oh, I was like, who's this? Yeah. Oh, Kevin Hart. I get it. But we're here to show you guys what we got signed, which we'll show you guys last. We went to Amoeba Records today afterwards. And we're going to show you guys what we picked up. Uh, the first one I picked up was a movie called June, two ninety nine. dollars uh, looks like it's going to be like a you know, independent, coming-of-age kind of movie. And who knows, it could be bad, but I saw, I saw it and I'm like, this could be kind of, it could be interesting. Uh, nice. Right there. And what did you, what, what's one of the ones you got? Uh, first thing I got was a copy of Jackie Brown. Didn't own that. Big Quentin Tarantino fan. Had to have that, I mean, the cast alone. Mm -hmm. De Niro and Michael Keaton, so many great people in this. So, anyways, Jackie Brown had to have it ten dollars. I have the same Blu-ray signed by um, Pam Greer when oh, I met her nice. when I interviewed her for a little bit at one of those uh, Monster Palooza That's shows. That's cool. That would be nice. Yeah. That would be really nice. That's cool. But ten bucks, yeah, yeah. not bad. And one of the other ones I got at Amoeba Records was a brand new copy of Rat Race. That's cool. Uh, on Blu-ray, I knew it came out, but I just finally grabbed it when I saw it actually in a store to get it. I was like, what, $15, 15, $15.98 or some shit as he's peeling off his price tags. If you like a mo the movies Mad, 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 Mad World, this is like the updated version of that from the, yeah. you know, like, was it early 2000s or 1999 or something like that? Well, yeah, 2001 it says. But yeah, you got something else too. Uh, yeah, I got this Rigor Mortis. It's an Asian horror. I think it's Korean. Uh, but this is a movie that I had heard... That Fat Samurai guy talking about being underrated. So it was on uh, sale for $4.99. Five bucks. So, hey, that's great. You know, I've been really digging the Asian horror movies lately. And, um, you know, I, I heard hearing it's underrated, I was like, well, I'll pick it up. Yeah. And the last thing I picked up at Amoeba, I only got three movies there. DVD and two Blu-rays. And the last one I got was a movie that I've always loved. And it's, uh, uh, of course, a movie based on an SNL skit. And um, Chris Farley's in it, of course, Dan Aykroyd. And uh, I knew it came to Blu-ray, but I didn't know it was like an Amer... I didn't know it got an American uh, version release, and that mm. is Coneheads. Funny movie. I thought it was like... All I ever saw was like an overseas one, so they have an American release. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta get it. I don't think there's any special features on it or anything. Yeah. But I love this movie. I always did. I always had it since like the VHS uh, era. Uh, but that's all I got at Amoeba Records today. That's all he got at Amoeba yeah. Records today. A couple things. But the first place we, we obviously went to was the John Carpenter signing because uh, he had this event for his eighth annual uh, signing for the Tales of Halloween. This is volume eight. Uh, I have like, a handful of the other volumes, I think, in my collection. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I never read them. You know what I mean? It's all about, you know, going there to be able to meet John Carpenter himself, you know, the ma the master behind Body Bags, Halloween, yeah. Escape from L.A., Escape from New York, you know, you know, uh, Big Trouble Little China, stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he, signed, he signed everyone's book right, right here. 
and all the other different creators and people that are involved in the franchise, you know, sign the book as well. Uh, it's pretty cool because one of the one of the writers or yeah the main writer of the crow is one of the main writers I believe in this one like their actual yeah. crow the movie that came out back in the day and uh, so anybody that went to the signing you spent you spent fifty bucks you got this book signed by everybody and John Carpenter and you were allowed to bring one extra item OGP bought two books. And had it, yeah, but you, you have to like bring a friend or something Somebody, like that. Yeah, it has to be one per person. And that was your buddy, uh, Justin. J Justin today. Yeah, Justin. So, yeah. do you want to show a person, want to show them uh, one of your items first? Because you got okay. two, I only got, I only got right. one. So, yeah, we'll show, uh, you can show, what, both, I, show what, both I, of them. what I had Justin get uh, signed first. The John Carpenter, well, not the John Carpenter, but the Michael Myers, the Halloween Funko Pop. Yeah. We got it signed with the orange paint pen right there. I'm going to steal that from you. You see? Yeah, no, good luck with that. Mm. Um, but that is really badass. Got that. And um, so that's what Justin got. And the other thing that I had him get. This one's pretty sweet. Was, or I got was, yes, something that I got a uh, signature on last week as well. So this, so I got this a while back, primetime signatures uh, in an auction. And it had Jamie Lee Curtis on it. It has Nick Castle, The Shape. And now it has John Carpenter on it. So it has Jamie Lee yeah. Curtis, John Carpenter, and Nick Castle's autograph. Boom! All three. Yeah, Nick Castle last week, John Carpenter this week. Yeah. I, I have a, a what's called Halloween mini poster signed by all, all three of them as well. I know. That's and it's really up, cool. up, all up on my wall. But I had to get something different signed today. Mm. This one is not signed by Jamie Lee Curtis because I already have that at home. But uh, I brought on over a Trick or Treat Studios mm -hmm. Halloween mask. Which I already had signed by uh, Nick Castle last week. It says OG yes. Michael Myers on there. And then John Carpenter. Something special about this mask. Good to have. He doesn't usually do inscriptions. But he put, I asked him, could you put Master of Horror and then your autograph? And he did. Because if you guys know the, 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 the series that came out back in the day, Masters of Horror. And plus he is kind of a Master of Horror anyway when it comes to you know, movie making. And he doesn't ever really do inscriptions. And he did. Yeah. On my mask right here, which I thought was cool yeah. as hell. You know, so I got Master of Horror, yeah. John Carpenter's autograph, and Nick Castle so far. So maybe if I ever see Jamie Lee Curtis again, Ooh, maybe right here on this yeah. oh, on yeah. this cheek. But I do have mm -hmm. a, a special display coming uh, for this mask so I can, like, bop, you know, have it sitting in the room. Yeah. So I think that's pretty rad. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night and have that mask looking at you and going to freak you out, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, poop on myself or something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's, that, cool. that's all we have to show and talk to you guys about today. We we're only able to get one extra item signed. Like I said, yeah. he got two because he got his buddy coming. And uh, we really do appreciate it. Yeah. Subscribe to the OGP. His YouTube channel is down below. And also, support my boss. You guys saw him in this video. Oh, yeah. uh, my, he's my buddy, uh, Fonzie818. But I'm going to have his, uh, a link to his Instagram mm. down below. Give him a follow. We just want to see how many people... Uh, you know, we can get this, you know, follow him on his Instagram. And I made you a very special giveaway. So go to his post where you see a picture with him and John Carpenter. But you, you have to follow him and leave a comment saying, Wet Movie 1 sent me. And uh, a lucky winner from, you must live in the United States, will win an autograph item and I'll mail it to you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but someone's going to win an autograph item. So. Nice. I'll have that as the first link in the description box. Follow my boss, uh, Alfa you know, Alfonso, and uh, one lucky winner will win an autograph item from my collection from me to you for free. Nice. Okay? But uh, see you guys on the next video. Catch you on the next one. Ta-ta.